welcome student i zubi on behalf of st paul high school welcome you once again here today we are going to study about geography chapter number 3 tides part 1 But before we go into the detail of the lesson of tide, observe the following pictures. Do the above photograph show the same place or different places? Second, observe and note the spread of water seen in both the photographs. Third, what is this natural event called? Geographical explanation. Both the photographs show the same place. If you stay near the coast for some time, you will realize that, as in the figure A, it is far away from the coast, whereas in the second figure, it shows that the sea water is sometimes very close to the coast. So, all these movements of the sea water is called tides. tides bearing a few exceptions all the coast on the earth experience tides high and low tides a natural phenomena let us understand it what are tides what are they caused by are there different types of tides tides are movements of sea water occurring daily and regularly the level of sea water changes after a specific period of time after every 12 hours and 25 minutes a cycle of high tide and low tide gets completed this regularly occurring event appears to be quite simple and natural however it is directly related to the sun moon and the earth and the gravitational and centrifugal force that interact between them try this keep a small stone or a chalk piece on your notebook and move the notebook from left to right with some force as in figure a now take a water in a small container which has a handle See what happens if the container is whirled around with force as in second picture that is B. Third picture that is C. Fill the mixer jar with water and switch on the mixer. Observe. Do this under the supervision of parents. Observe a fan and a slingshot while they are moving as in the figure D. Now take a key chain as in the figure E. and whirl it around a finger and observe it can you tell about the figures in figure a in which direction did the piece of a chalk fall in figure b where did the water in the glass show a bulge in the figure c what happened to the water in the container and the mixer in e what effect did the movement have on the things attached to the key ring which forces could be operating in activities listed above in which activities did you find that the centrifugal or gravitational force was greater geographical explanation in all the above activities the effect of the centrifugal force is visible the centrifugal force acts in the direction opposite to the gravitational force centrifugal means going away from the center you must have experienced it too at the local fairs if you sit in a ferry's wheel your seat spins and leans outward away from the wheel this also is an effect of centrifugal example take two equal teams conduct a game of tug of war for 5 minutes and share your experience let's learn and understand the concept of centrifugal and 
gravitational force centrifugal and gravitational force due to its rotation the earth gets a type of a force or a power this force works away from the center it is called centrifugal force as in the figure due to this force any object on the earth would be thrown into the space however the gravitational force is working towards the center of the earth at the same time this force is many times greater than the centrifugal force hence any object on the surface of earth remains at the place where it exists sides the following factors are responsible for the occurrence of tide the first the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun as well as that of the earth second revolution of the earth around the sun and the indirect revolution of the moon around the sun third centrifugal force generated due to the rotation of the earth of tide the moon is closer to the earth than the sun hence its gravitational force becomes more effective than that of the sun tides occur due to the relative position of the moon the sun and the earth a place on the earth located at the opposite point of the place experiencing high or low tide also experiences high or low tide respectively at the same time this is a result of the centrifugal force when there is a high tide at 0 degree meridian the 180 degree meridian also experiences high tide meridians that are at right angles to those having high tide will experience low tide at the same time if it is high tide at 0 degree and 180 degree meridians then at which meridians will low tide occur think about it large rockets are used to go into the space away from the earth which force do they act against types of tides as the timing of the tide varies every day the range of a tide also keeps on changing generally the highest high tide occurs on full moon and a new moon days whereas on the days of the first and the third quarter the highest high tide is at minimum spring tides and neap tides are the two types of tide in time on full moon day and new moon day the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon act in the same direction due to this the total pull increases hence the tide on these days is much higher than the average high tide this is known as spring tide c figure 3.7 as the bulge at the high tide is greater the water at low tide recedes much more the water level during spring tide is higher than the average high tides and lower than the average low neap tide while revolving around the earth the moon makes a right angle with respect to the earth and the sun twice a month this position occurs on the first and the third quarter of each month on both these days the forces of both the sun and the moon operate at right angles on the earth see figure 3.8 at the places where the sun causes high tide the gravitational pull of the moon which is at right angle also acts on the sea water due to such conditions the water level rise is less than usual at the time of high tide similarly fall in water level is less than usual at the time of low tide this is because the attraction of the sun and the moon are not complementary but 
at right angle to each other such tides are called neap tides neap tides are little lower than the average high tides and little higher than the average low tides do you know intertidal range what is intertidal range it is the difference between levels of ocean water at high tide and low tide in our open seas this range is about 30 cm however towards the coastal areas it goes on increase along the coast of peninsular india the range is around 100 to 150 cm for most of the part the highest tidal range in the world is observed at bay of fundy along the atlantic coast of north america here the tidal range is about 1600 cm in india the highest tidal range is in the gulf of kambhat it is about 1100 cm let us now see the effects of tides effects of tides the first with a high tide fish move into the creeks and this helps fishing activity second ships can move up to the ports during the high tide during high tide sea water can be stored in salt pans from which salt can be obtained tidal force can be used to generate electricity a lack of an understanding of the timings of high and low tides may cause accidents to swimmers entering the sea the tides help in maintaining the mangroves and the coastal biodiversity i hope the topic is very clear the next part of the chapter we will be continuing in the next video